Oh, man. I understand I'd like to pride myself in the past as having to sit there and talk about Call of Duty as a whole. And a lot of times I sit there in rage. As time progressed for me in a Call of Duty sense, I begun to hate the fact that I was being so negative. Negative things don't always pan well in a video or in a live stream. As I do live stream, yeah, hit the sub if you want to see all that. I know there's a lot of channels out there that all they do all day long is sit there and rage about things about the game and call Call of Duty out of their name because of, well, they expect a lot. And I'm going to tell you this, on the side of expecting things, I expect things too. I have to agree with that part. The complaining that they do, not so much, but I'll leave that for another video. I dislike how Call of Duty gives you things like the stim boost, for example, and then takes that away. I dislike how they give you Rebirth Island, and then they take that away. I dislike how Modern Warfare 3, they give you good movement, and then they take that away. I dislike how the movement was instantaneous, and they take that away. I hate how skill-based matchmaking was kind of bad back then, and then they ramp it up. No, I don't want to sit there and just scream like most YouTubers do when they're mad about this. I just kind of want to tell you guys, and hopefully you guys can put your input down below. So let me go through a list of things that frustrate me in the game, that make me want to get loud and pretty much just, well, yeah, stop playing the game. Because what am I going to sit there and say, really, right? After all, I still am a Battlefield player. Yeah, Battlefield, still, still a good game. Let me start with the live stream. When I was live streaming, there were some things going on that I noticed in the game, and some of my stuff is speculation. I just want to reiterate this. Before I ever get started with all this, I want to sit there and say I was right. Tactical Brit put a video out and he actually said that, guess what? With his testing, the servers are indefinitely, the servers are definitely 20 hertz tick rate servers. Do you understand what that means, 20 tick rate servers? We're talking about a multi-billion dollar company who can't get regular servers like Fortnite or any other freaking video game for that fact. 20 hertz tick rate that means it takes 20 times a second to update right yeah instead it should be 60. this is the reason why you feel like you run around and you feel a little bit of lag this is the reason why you run around and you feel like well you're getting shot through items or you feel like you have cover and you're still getting deleted this is the reason why you feel like the bullets seem to come out at a massive rate on your side, it seems like to they, they're like a sponge and suck it all up. But on your side, it seems like you die instantly. This is the reason why sometimes when you happen to hit the corner, the bullets tend to curve around that corner and kill you. Yeah, a plethora of reasons because of 20 tick rate servers. Not to mention desync, not to mention latency, not to mention ping, not to mention all the rest of the things that actually it takes so much to play on PC right now. You have to optimize your PC. You have to optimize Windows. You have to optimize your controller. You have to optimize your monitor. You have to optimize your network. I mean, the list goes on and on and on just to play on PC. And you would think it just stops there, but it doesn't. You see, because PlayStation has its own problems of its own as well as Xbox. See, you're not just on a regular server. You have to do DNS settings. You have to do controller settings. You have to do audio settings. You have to do network settings. You have to do this, that, and the other. And don't forget, just don't forget. If you don't have good internet, you don't have nothing. You don't have no good connection. If you ain't on fiber at least anymore, then you're just totally playing on Wi-Fi from McDonald's. So this new map, Area 99, I'm stoked. It's nice. It's good. It's something different. It's great. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but there's a button there. It doesn't seem like anything skill related. Everybody wants to shoot you out of the sky for some reason. They're all focused on you. As soon as you spawn in, they're focused on you. Like why? You're supposed to be looting. What are you doing? We just dived in. The map seems bigger, but it seems smaller. It seems bigger when you look at it, but it's too small for the people that are in it. You get third party, it's third party warfare. We're back to that all over again. Yeah, I remember those games where I just call, I actually literally call them third party warfare. 
I literally had a whole slogan, Call of Duty, third party warfare. I literally had the whole slogan going on back in, what was that, Infinite Warfare? You seem really fast with the Omni movement, but you seem really slow. How, how is that possible? Oh yeah, the 20 hertz tick rate servers. Yeah, that. You can't really land anywhere because everybody's landing with you. I even proved this yesterday during my stream. Maybe I'll put a clip in here. Like everywhere you go, somebody's there with you. Two or three guys, sometimes five or six. Sometimes even more, depending if you land in the middle. Everything seems overwhelming. I don't know what it is. The movement's nice, but it's slow. How? I don't, what? The movement's nice, but it's slow. What? I have to repeat that twice because it doesn't even sound like it's coming out my mouth. And not to mention, you kind of, I don't know what it, do, do you have to? Yes, you got to, you got to camp. Why do you got to camp so much? Because for some reason, you, you sound worse than a T-Rex. You sound like a T-Rex who destroyed 10 buildings and has lava coming out there every orifice of their body. You literally can hear everything in this game. Wait, no, how is that possible? I thought the audio was gone. It's gone sometimes too. How's that oxymoron freaking warfare? Come on now. It's frustrating. You hear guys on the roof stomping around like freaking dinosaurs fighting. And it's just one guy. And then other times you don't hear crap. You literally don't hear nothing. And they just fix the audio. Guess what? They just literally fix the audio. It's about what? Somebody said it was 90% there? No, buddy. What kind of 90% you got? 90% of 10%? Yeah, no, buddy. So what it is with the, with the audio is it literally sounds like they're right next to you. Like if you were to see a person running literally right next to you, that's what's wrong with the audio. And why? Why did they change all the gun noises? Like every gun that you heard before, like if you go and use a Modern Warfare 2, a Modern Warfare 3 gun that we've been using for years now, all the audios changed. Like they don't even sound the same. It's like for some reason, Call of Duty takes things that never were broke. Nothing was wrong with them. They were perfectly fine and then changes them. For what reason? Ah, yeah, because we're back on the old servers again. We're back on the old Modern or Warzone 1 servers, if you didn't really know. Yeah, a lot of people don't know about that stuff. In order to have all this movement the way it is, they put you back on the older servers. It's the reason why they reverted everything back, because it was the visuals are copy and paste, but all the rest of it's not copy and paste. This is why some YouTubers are making videos and talking about how everything's been reverted back to two steps for, or one step forward and 10 steps back. It's because everything was reverted. You see, in order to copy and paste on a different freaking server or you know specific server like Warzone 1, they basically copy and pasted it, but pasted it as its original form, what Warzone used to be when it first came out and had all these issues. This is what a lot of people forget to explain when they start explaining about the servers and all this stuff. A copy and paste doesn't copy over a one-to-one, -one, although you like to think it does. And you would think that since they've been doing this for a long time, it would be just like that. I understand having the same assets to having a one-to-one. -one. I'm a thumbnail artist. A lot of the times when I make things, I will keep that image and use it at a later date. It's a one-to-one -one kind of thing. It's a copy and paste kind of thing. It works that way. But in Call of Duty, it doesn't. And I don't understand why. I'm not a technical person. This is the reason why I can't sit there and duplicate a lot of the lag or when I go to do like research, I can't research in game. I don't know how to make my server or my, excuse me, I don't know how to make my my router lag to 10 hertz. I don't know how. I don't know how to make it lag to 20 hertz. Well, I'll just play Call of Duty regular, right? There's 20 hertz, but you know what I mean. I'm trying to sit there and do real life tests and I can't do that with all this. So unfortunately I have to relate to somebody else, some other YouTuber that has this knowledge and all this say so and this stuff like that and trust that their words perfectly fine. The plating seems slower. I have no idea why the plating seems a lot slower, but it's slower. You're slower. You're fast, but you're slower. Yeah, Omni movement makes you fast, but you're still slow. Yeah, you're that T-Rex that keeps running around. Hey, that T-Rex is big and slow for a reason. Because you seem, you could dive in any direction, but still it takes momentum to get there. That's been proven too. The time to kill seems fast and it seems slow. Yeah, but we already know why. 20 hertz tick rate servers, yeah. Uh, jeez Louise. According to the buddy J-God, he said that the it, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Like a Black Ops 6 to Modern Warfare 3 is a one-to-one. -one. I believe that in the multiplayer it might be one-to-one, -one, but it's not one-to-one -one in Warzone. Kind of where we all want to go and play when we're done playing multiplayer, because after a while it gets stale, right? Right? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Unfortunately, weapons. Weapons also play another part in it. Weapon damage values are all jacked up. They're all over the place. You would think that a company like this that's been doing this for a while would get it pretty much straight. But that's not the way it works. 
And don't forget, they're trying to make everything almost alike. Like all the weapons, they, they, they literally took the negative values of the weapons and tried to make them positive. In other words, they try to make everything to where everything is, you're using the same weapon no matter what weapon you use. It just makes a different sound, looks different. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do. They took away the riot shield, and I know some of you guys don't care for that, and you're like, heck yeah, but it brings variety. They took away the riot shield. They took away the movement with the stems. They brought it back, and then they took it away. I think I've already said that. Yeah. Everything starts from a dead slide. That means your movement, you have to get momentum from, a, from basically nothing. You have to get momentum in order to keep your movement better and fluid. There's no fluidity in it. It didn't happen like that in Modern Warfare 3. The assist, the, excuse me, the assist. The assist, I don't know what they did. We got assist, we got eliminations, we got kills, we got all this stuff that confuses the crap out of everything. And matters of fact, everything seems to account towards your kills. So guess what that does to your KD? It raises it. Yeah, that's right. Your KD goes up. So that means you're getting sweatier and sweatier lobbies, even though you might be a casual. What about Big Map? There's something going on with Big Map. It's like, you ever seen that? I said this yesterday. You ever seen that movie, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? Where you seem smaller, but the world has not, you at, you've gotten smaller, but the world has not gotten smaller. You see, that's how it feels like in Urkistan. It seems like the world has gotten slightly bigger. It's not exactly proportionally good as it was before. It's just I don't know. Everything seems miles and miles away. Not to mention, you literally got to turn off freaking what is it? Voice chat? All lobby? You can't have that on, otherwise you lose a crap load of frames. Like, I'm sorry, I really don't make these videos all that much anymore, but it's just frustrating to see this game, this company, this this whole franchise to sit there and do what they do all the time. Why is it update requires restart about 58 times in the same day or sometimes the same week? It's like, what 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 update? What updates are you doing? Are you fixing anything? Why is this game broke? Why did you release it like this? How has nobody tested this? How on earth did nobody test a dang thing in this game? How is it people keep, how is it we just let companies get away with this? You know, a lot of foodies, food companies will sit there and put out food and what they have is they have actually people that go out there and they test it. And then they sit there and weigh out how, who likes it, who doesn't. How many people get addicted and how many people don't. They literally do studies like that. How is it that a company that makes multi-billions, we're talking B billions, okay? How does a company put out broken things all the time? Every single update breaks something. It doesn't make something, it breaks something. They literally implement something cool that takes years to get there and then breaks it all. They literally get rid of stuff that they have made once great and they literally for no apparent reason for no, just like nobody ever even complains about it and they're like, guess what? We're taking that away. I can't understand for the life of me. Why, why, why people in a company like to stir the hornet's nest when something's good you keep going with it you don't sit there and grab pepsi or coke and start turning and adding little crap blocks to it you just don't do things coke and pepsi are good for the original are good for a reason you enheighten to its taste you add cherry to its taste you add mangoes to its taste you add lime to its taste you add vanilla to its taste but you don't sit there and get rid of the original and i know some of you guys don't like none of that flavor in your stuff, and I get it, but I'm just making a point. Call of Duty, excuse me, Call of Duty has done some great things in the past, but it's almost like they're some type of trans person who doesn't know their identity, who's always sitting there taking everything from every game that they ever see and try to lump it up all into one. They literally take the, the outside world and try to bring it in. They literally try to take transgender and, and, and pedophilia and, and all this other stuff that you see and all these different flags and they try to incorporate it and, and incorporate it into the game, even demonic stuff. And why? For what, what? You think that's going to sell? You think just because there's a couple people out there that happens to be 0.01%, it's going to sell a lot more because you want to be all inclusive? Let me tell you what. War is not inclusive. People dying for any reason or any cause is not inclusive. It has no reason of color, nothing. It doesn't care if what you are. We are literally playing a video game somewhat simulates real life. It's an arcade shooter. Arcade shooter, you understand? It's not real life. You don't have to incorporate things in real life to make people feel better. That's, that, that, that's almost non-existent. It doesn't make no sense to please a crowd that's not even big enough to, they, they, they don't need, they're just not big enough, okay? I don't even want to get into it anymore because I've already said enough that that probably would peak the algorithm to not really like this video. What I do know is 
is there's just stuff in the game that doesn't make no sense that nobody ever asks for. There's things that are wrong that need fixing and and things that oh when it comes to that freaking battle pass or that freaking store, oh believe that they fix those pretty much instantaneous. I can never understand if you got a problem in a relationship, you're pretty much going to try to work on something, right? And as time goes on, you perfect it. And as time goes on, you perfect it. But Call of Duty is not perfected anything. They just perfect ways to give an algorithm that sits there and dictates how a game may be played, how it may be won, how it may be processed through time. And there's not enough people to sit there and say that that's what they like. We like randomness. This is the reason why people like to get in bot lobbies, because it's more random than anything. Yeah, the lobbies seem a little bit easier, but you can't predict all the things that bots do in all these games. You just can't. You should see the way they play. They're just unpredictable, like the best games ever or in bot lobbies, not because you can kill, but because of the most reasons of being unpredictable. I can go on and make this video for a whole hour, but let me just sit there and say this. If you agree with any of this, please do comment down below. Hit the like button and hit that sub button because I make videos like this. They don't always have, they're, they're, they're just, let, let me say right now, they're not rants, okay? They're not rants. I tend to try to have gone away from that, but this is just frustrating for me as a, as a YouTuber and as a streamer. I just get frustrated with things. It's really sad to see a company that makes multi-billion dollars that just basically never listen to any word, but only those words that are from the elites. And you know what I mean. No disrespect to my guys that are above because I know a lot of YouTubers that are have millions of subs. We're talking millions. And I don't, I'm not trying to sit there and say disrespectfully, but I understand that behind closed doors, some decisions might be made. I understand that they look for input from these guys. And, and I know that where it matters is the small people because there's a few of them and there's many of us. And like I always sit there and say, united we stand, divided we fall. There's pretty much no way we're ever gonna get rid of Call of Duty. Call of Duty is getting rid of itself slowly but surely. I just want to bring all this to you guys because you know what? I know you guys agree with me. I know there's a lot of you that have these frustrations and aggravations. And, and I know sometimes hearing it from people that have a substantial amount of subs, it feels a little bit better to know that there's people out there like me. I'm always on your side, guys. I'm always on your side. And I hate the crap out of SBMM, EOMM. I could do countless videos on the patented and what I figured out through the years since 2019 about all this stuff. I could do many, 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 many videos on it but I don't. Just understand that I've tested things and I'm on, I'm on your side, your side. So if you want that, you want a YouTuber that's on your side, hit that like, hit that sub, and stay tuned for more. And with that, I'm finally out, even after 18 minutes. <laughs> you guys have a good one.